Hello and welcome to another little unboxing and I'm back bitches it's been a while because my computer is dying but I'm I'm getting a new one so uh, I will be able to upload again very soon and uh, yeah this is the first day of my vacation and I am so excited I've been looking forward for this for like forever and I'm not doing anything in my vacation I'm not traveling I'm not going anywhere I'm just staying home getting shit faced watching movies playing games Probably also cleaning my apartment because it really needs that. <laughs> and maybe hang out with a friend or two doing this while. Maybe see my family. It's been a while. Maybe. <laughs> but I'm gonna get drunk a lot. And I actually bought quite a few uh, movies and games to uh, help keep me entertained. Not that I need any more movies or games, but uh, <laughs> you can always fit room for more. And uh, this first stack right here. It's just what I picked up at flea markets and uh, uh, other, uh, what do you call them? Not flea markets. Something like army salvation sort of shit. Uh, and it's just movies and games, really cheap. I also order some online, but we are gonna get to those. And the first movie uh, is the, now it's, it's the Danish title here, but it's the, what's the call in English? Last Night at Priesting, 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 there we go. Assault on Precinct 13, a classic John Carpenter movie. It is uh, the Danish title on it, so don't get confused. And it's very shiny. There we go. Yeah, I love John Carpenter. He has uh, directed one of my favorite movies of all time, The Thing from 1982. So I'm very excited to watch this. Oh, throwing it already. Next one is Wing Commander. <laughs> uh, it's it's a movie based of uh, video games. <laughs> I didn't say these movies would entertain me, not not, not necessarily in a positive way, <laughs> but they are here. Week one, based on a, on a video game for PC that I have not played, so it's gonna be interesting. The Animatrix. Uh, how many is it? Nine animated shorts from, based off the uh, Matrix universe. And I'm not a huge fan of Matrix, but uh, looking at the back here, the art style looks interesting it's I think it's a different art style for each animation and that could be really fun I think I watched a review of this and uh, they say that some of them are pretty good and some of them are not that great but uh, oh and I'm cheating with this one because I already watched this I couldn't help myself I really wanted to see this for quite a light late faces can we find a place where it's not too shiny there we go yeah uh, an awesome werewolf movie even though the werewolves in this uh, movie looks pretty be as fuck man they are really weird looking they don't look like werewolf it, if it wasn't if i just saw a picture of the creature werewolf would not have been my first guess but uh <laughs> it is an awesome movie i really recommend it it's probably one of my favorite werewolves movies and uh i already watched this <laughs> and next, next one is tusks can get a good picture there we go uh horror comedy you can say about a uh, What's a journalist or something like that who goes and visits some people? But he ends up visiting this old man who turns him into a, a what is it? What's to call that animal tusk? Oh, and with the tusk. I'm just so bad at words today. Valros hid it with dansk, but I. Yeah, I'm gonna put the word here, so so I'm not looking like a complete idiot. But uh, I heard this should be fun, not great, but fun. So that's always something. And another movie called Buck. I've never watched this. I see, I know this cover because I've seen it like a million times. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be great, but it was cheap, so could get a good a little laugh out of that. Next one is Monster Man, just the most random title. <laughs> it looks generic as fuck, like the most generic thing ever when I look at the back and especially on the cover, man. But uh, I don't know, it could be entertaining. I'm gonna give this a shot as well. Let's just get the pile a little pretty over there. Yeah, I like it when my piles are pretty. Next one is a Danish movie. The Grønne Slagter, The Green Butchers, if you translate the title. And it's a Danish comedy movie starring Mads Mikkelsen, 
who is very famous for his Hannibal uh, portrayal also. He's starring the upcoming video game Death Stranding and he's been he's probably Denmark's most international well-known actor but uh, he did a lot of comedies in his early acting career and uh, this is one of them and it's probably one of my favorite Danish comedies about butchers who end up and I know I said comedy but they end up accidentally killing someone and then selling his carcass as the meat for the uh, for the butcher shop <laughs> it's really funny I love it and those were the movies from uh, flea markets and such and next stack right here is just video games I bought and the first one is Warhammer Mark of Chaos a strategy game based of the Warhammer fr franchise uh, I, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm, I'm becoming a big fan of Warhammer 40k the just Warhammer I don't know yet but uh, it was really cheap so I couldn't help myself I also got Blur I've been wanting to get this for console but now I found it for PC so let's see if I can get this working I don't know if it's one of those games where it's only one use with one code or something like that it's so hard with modern PC games if you can uh, buy it and used or not but uh, I took a chance it was like less than a buck so I was ready to do that and a PC game I've never heard of Dark and Sky looks strange and weird I, I'm, I'm, I think it's like a 3d platformer of sorts I've never heard of this so I couldn't really tell but uh, I'm looking forward to play and Mist 3 Exile in this big box thingy magic with like tons of discs and a manual and nice. It's gonna take a while to install, but I'm probably not gonna install it because I think I own a digital version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I own a digital version for GOG, I'm not sure, but I'm going to check up on that. It was just to have a physical version of the game as well. And speaking of another game, I just want a physical version of uh, Siberia. A game I never played, but uh, I really wanted to play it for a while. It's, it looks very interesting. It's like an adventure game. But uh, don't be fooled by this big box, because there is nothing in it. It's just this small little CD case. I think I think there's been like a big manual or something or something with this, but it just wasn't there when um, when it ended up with me. But uh, ah, oh well, I will survive. Next one was just something I bought because it was funny, and it's uh, I think this is the first edition of World of Warcraft that was released, and it just I never played World of Warcraft, and I'm never planning on playing it ever because it's one of those. Uh, MMOs and that's not really my cup of tea but uh, it was a fun thing and it's a video game history so let's just see what's in this another big fuel case with a big ass game manual and a product catalog damn boy and what does the, it seems to have oh yeah it also explains a lot of this, uh, not necessarily just technical stuff, but also explains something about the world, which could be a bit fun. So I think this is the best part of this. Oh boy, have I broken it already? Let's just see if I can stuff it down there again. There we go. That was the flea market stuff, and I'm missing up my... I don't know what you call that in English, but fuck it. Uh, next one is my eBay purchase. That looked pretty awesome. Can you see that again? eBay purchase. Nice. And I think I think if it is what I know it is, or that I think it is, it's gonna be a Blu-ray movies. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be embarrassing <laughs> that I'm unboxing this on the, on camera. But uh. The alternative is worse, let's just say it like that. And it is... No! Whoa, it came from eBay! Ah! 
This is my, I did not know this, this is my Timeless Collector Edition of Quantum Break. I ordered this a while ago, I just didn't know it was from eBay that was sent. It's, I used a web browser in Denmark that uh, also sells from other smaller websites, but apparently this one just came from eBay, which I didn't know. <laughs> so, uh, really cool, I thought it was going to be Blu-ray movies, but uh, instead it was this game, and it's going to be something I unbox in another video. I'm kind of excited, it's bigger than I thought. So we're gonna put that aside and unbox that later. And the last box right here is just a little bit of video games and movies I ordered not that long ago. And let's see, let's see. We have this shit to There we go. And first off is Resident Evil 6 for the PS3. Now I already own a digital version of this for the PS4, which I'm playing. I just want the physical version for the PS3 because it was dirt cheap. Uh, the, the web page was having a sale, so uh, a lot of this was really cheap and just to add something for my collection. And uh, I, I, I'm one of those guys who really love uh, Resident Evil uh, 5 and 6 so uh, yeah hate me all you want I love those games so having a physical version of that is awesome another game I really wanted for GameCube but they had it for PC for real cheap and it's Billy Hatchet and a giant egg like a 3d platform where you control this boy presumably named Billy who uh, walks around using X for like platforming stuff and it seems really interesting. It's also on the GameCube. I really want it on the GameCube, but uh, I got it on this instead. And next one is the original StarCraft. I always wanted to get into the StarCraft games, but uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't. But now I can, hopefully. Let's see if I can figure out to install this game, and uh, I really want to play a second StarCraft game, but uh, oh well, we'll see. Next one is a game for my PS4 called Silence. People has recommended this t to me. It's like I think it's like an adventure game. It's something like a lot of people, even people who aren't gamers, really enjoy. So uh, I'm excited for this. And let's see a movie. This was also really cheap. This is the Punisher collection for the two Punisher movies. The one with oh, what's his name? Yeah, what's the fuck? Fuck is his name? Well. That the two Punisher movies with the actors and then stuff and it's in here and uh, I didn't really like the first one it's probably the most popular one I really like the second one it's so cartoonish or uh, comic-ish in its way and I really love that because that's just what I want in a Punisher movie the first one is just a little too uh, how do you say revenge movie like and let's see here rats. A movie I just didn't know I could get in Denmark, so uh, really excited for that. It's a post-apocalyptic movie that uh, where the villains are mutated rats, and I really, really wanted to watch this. I saw a review online like a year ago, and just really wanted this movie. And I had it. I had it. There, there was barely a sentence, dude. And Rayman Revolution for the PS2 sealed and everything and another game i just really want i don't know anything about rayman revolution how, how it fit into the rayman world but uh, now i have it i'm just bothered that it's sealed I, i'm happy it's sealed but that's just uh, i'm gonna have it hard hard time opening this if i even am gonna, oh it's already it's already broken up here so i'm not gonna have a hard time opening this at all dang it oh well the next one is Dead or Alive 5, a fighting game with women's with large boobs that wiggle real well. <laughs> okay, yeah. Game Physics 101, booby wiggle. And there's also ninjas and stuff, and it could be really fun. Next one is a game I've seen a ton, I've never played, I've never really looked into it. What's it called? It's Su Supremacy MMA. Like a fighting game also. I've just seen this a bunch of time. I've never picked it up. I've never played it. So uh, I'm just curious. That's why I got this. And you know me, if you, know, if you do know me, you know that I collect uh, 
movies eller games that are based of movies and for the PS2 Despicable Me with all the minions looking creepy as fuck <laughs> this is gonna be bad I can only just looking at the back here it's gonna be bad <laughs> but, uh, but it's one for the collection and we have a movie here an anime sub Marine 707R. I looked at some uh, uh, trailers online or whatever you call it, and it, the art style is really gorgeous and uh, could be really fun to watch. I'm not that big into anime, but I love it when the art style is gorgeous, as I said. And you know, it's gonna be entertaining. If not, it's gonna be pretty at least. And that's the most important thing. Mother, sh uh, mother gunship game I know nothing about. It's just a game I bought because I had all, all the other stuff and I just needed to boost up my price a little more so I could get free shooting. And But it looks really interesting, like you craft your own guns, you fight online stuff. I don't know how much single player this is or if it's just a... Uh, uh, what's some look? Online. I don't know if it's just online, but uh, we figured it out. It looks really interesting. and. Uh, here I have it. I think all that is left is just movies. No, there's one more game. Let's just pick that up. The House of Dead Overkill Extended Card. Yeah, I already... I think this also is the exact same game. Is it? Like you can get Typing of the Dead for PC. That is also called Overkill. I think it's the same game. Not sure. But here I can use that light gun you can uh, get for the PS3 with the uh, PlayStation camera. And... Uh, it could be a really fun shooting game, and I love House of the Dead, or not House of the Dead, yo, it's, it's the House of the Dead, yeah. Why was that so hard for me? Anyways, only movies left. Let's just, there is this one collection of movies, and see, Zombie Diaries 2, Nazis at the Center of the Earth, and the last one is called Gangster Guns and Zombies. It was cheap, don't judge me, it was cheap. <laughs> and who doesn't want to watch a movie called Nazi Nazis at the Center of the Earth and Gangsters, Guns and Zombies? I mean, that looks just so dumb, <laughs> but dumb in a good way. And it's all Blu-ray, so it's gonna also look kind of, kind of pretty. Next one. It was cheap. It was cheap. But yes, it's also the same variety. A movie called The Tortured Sand Shark. Sand shark and evidence. Again, I just wanted something to watch uh, during my vacation, and uh, th does not need to be good stuff. I watch. It can be bad. But last one is gonna be good. I wanted to watch this for so long. Maniac Cop. Look at that. Oh, I love that cover. I want that as a poster. It is really, really cool cover. And, oh no, it looks like it has some water damage. That's not nice. So I'm gonna have to take a closer look at that. If I can speak without salivating everywhere. And yeah, this was all the stuff I bought to help entertain myself in my vacation time. And as you can see, I'm not planning to go much out of my apartment. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go out a bit. I'm not that kind of... <laughs> Uh, reclusive dude maybe, maybe a little bit though there we go last one here that i'm gonna do an unboxing of and this was it i really <laughs> i lost words this was more than i actually thought it was and uh, i'm gonna be busy in this location so yeah this was the first video in a while uh, as i said my computer was dying so i had a hard time editing stuff but i'm also uh, uploading an uh, unboxing of my new computer and it's gonna be up very soon so look forward to that and if you've been sticking through the bad English you're a real hero thanks for watching and take care